if you want to use the same microphone that you're singing into also as a talkback when you need it to be a talkback, you can do a few things. I've seen people using foot switches. So basically, they would run the microphone cable into the input of the switch, and then you'd have two outputs. When you press the button, the signal of the microphone will switch to the other output and go to the talkback channel. And when you press it again, it will switch again to the first output and go to the vocal channel. I've seen also people using MIDI foot switches. So basically, you would program a MIDI controller to send MIDI commands to your console that will mute one channel and unmute the other. And when you press it again, do the opposite. But that all requires extra hardware and extra stuff and running cable. That's a bit too much for me. So how about we make a button and mixing station to do all of that for us very quickly and very easily. On PC and on iPhone, you can try the Pro features for free, but the app will disconnect every 15 minutes. On Android, it will not disconnect, but you cannot try the Pro features for free. You'll have to buy a license. So here's the main idea. Let's say your vocals are going into channel one that has the local input number one, and your talkback channel will be channel number 16. So what you want to do, because you're using the same microphone, is also give channel 16 input number one that is getting into the vocal channel. So I'm going to go here and give it local one. So now channel one and channel 16 are getting the same exact input. And also, this is just to put my mind at ease, I will go into channel 16 and go to the main tab and turn off the main stereo button so that even if someone raises the fader of channel 16 and it is unmuted, it will still not go to the main left right. Fader all the way down and muted, vocal channel up, going to the main left right, and also going to the monitors. So let's hit sends on faders and send it to the monitors and also send the talkback channel to the monitors. I want to create a button that when I press it, it will mute the vocal channel and unmute the talkback channel. And when I press it again, or when I release it, it will do the opposite, mute the talkback and unmute the main channel. So you're going to go to the gear icon on the top and go to the layouts and create a new layout with the plus, or you can hit edit on your existing layout. I'll just create a new layout for the sake of this video. So hit plus and let's really quickly make it the main layout of the app. So I'll hit the gear icon and behavior. I'll go to override mixer layout and hit apply. So now when I go back, this will be the layout of the app. Okay, so I'm going to go back into that layout. You see that X right here? It means that this is the main layout of the app. So I'll go into edit and hit the plus icon and go to general and create a button. This is the button. I'll put it here, make it nice and big like that. And I'll click on it go to settings and let's call it talk, hit OK. Now you can see there are multiple behaviors for the button. You can either click once, it will turn on and off. You can long click, so press and hold for a certain amount of time and then it will turn on. And you have this momentum, you have to keep holding it in order to keep it on. And when you release it, it will automatically turn off. So I'll do that for the talk back. Hit add action and then I will click here on current channel and instead choose fixed channel and channel one, I will go to main and select the mute. So now if I go back, press it and hold, it will mute this channel, but it is on by default. I don't want that. So I'll go back into that layout, edit and click on that button settings and click on that action and I will invert it. Click the invert button and now go back and you can see it's off. So when I click it, it turns on. When I release it, it turns off and that's what I want. So let's go back into the layouts, edit, click on the button, settings. The cool thing about Mixing Station is that you can add multiple actions to the same button. You don't have to create another button for it. So on the same button, I will click add action again and choose fixed channel and now choose channel number 16 because I've decided that this is my talkback channel. Click on it, then go to the main and mute. And now I will not hit invert. So the idea is that one is inverted and the other is not inverted. So when I click on the button, what happens? One gets muted, the other gets unmuted. When I release the button, the opposite happens. Click, release. I'll show you the other options really quickly. I'll do the same thing, but with the button behavior set to click and long click. I'll click on that button and hit duplicate, paste, put it right here, and do that again. And I will click into the second one and make it a long click settings, right click on this or press and hold and copy, paste here. And the other one also same thing, copy, paste here. And I'll remove these. So I'll hit delete, delete, 
do the same for the third button. Now this one you have to press and keep holding and when you release it, it turns off. This one you press and hold, it turns on and you can let it go and it stays on and then you will press and hold again until it turns off. This one is a quick tap. You just tap it, turn on, tap it, turn off. So this is the difference between these different behaviors of the button. If you're singing and you have your hands free, you can use this one, press and hold and keep holding and then when you release it, it turns off again. If you're a musician who is using both of your hands, do the one tap and turns on. One tap turns off. And if you don't want to turn it on by accident just because you tapped your finger, then you can use the press and hold until it turns on and then press and hold until it turns off. That's up to you. And you can use this not only for talkback, you can use it to mute and unmute a bunch of channels at the same time. Now you may be asking, well, there's mute groups. Why would I do that? Yes, but the idea of mute groups is that they will mute or unmute a bunch of channels, but they cannot do both at the same time. That's where this button comes in handy. So if you have a bunch of channels, that you want to mute and you have a bunch of other channels that you want to unmute both at the same time with one click you can do that so I'll edit this button add another action go into it add channel 2 main mute add another action channel 3 main mute and invert it press and hold on it it will do that that's cool so it's muting and unmuting certain channels at the same time if you like this video make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on screen right now and I'll see you there